Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Tarte Toasted Palette and um, I'm kind of intrigued to test this out uh, just because um, the like I have opened this palette a few times and just looks by it, I'm not really happy with it. Um, and I'm just going to get started with this video. Um, let's just talk about the packaging. I think the packaging is super pretty. Like it's, um, it kind of looks to me like it's cheetah print. But then at the same time, it doesn't really look like cheetah print. So it's a little bit confusing. But um, to me, it looks nice. It looks um, kind of like, you know, wild. So this is the normal Tarte uh, packaging. I mean, it's in... Um, as you can see, these are both the same in size and everything. Um, so, so this is the in the bloom palette, and I have the toasted palette now. Um, and I absolutely love this palette. I think this palette was um, one of my first palettes, actually, that uh, just kind of like started my whole. Um, adventuring with makeup so i really love that palette honestly i got it maybe like over like maybe like a year a year and a half ago so you know it's i've had some time with that palette um but this palette um you know everything seems to be okay as in the packaging and everything it looks nice and and it's you know perfect for if you want to take it on the go and you just want to do a quick you know um eye look and then the shades on this palette are very nice uh the camera and the lighting and everything is kind of washing this out a little bit but the the colors in person they do look a little bit darker as you guys could see there you go um so this palette um you know, like everything is nice about it. But then you go to. Uh, here. I'm trying to figure out a way where you guys could see this. So, okay, right here. So you see how, like, there's so much fallout. I and mean, I, I promise to you guys that I haven't used this palette at all. And there's just so much fallout, especially with this color right here, which is Crackle um it just my the mirror is already super dirty and i've never used this palette at all so um like i i would probably understand for this palette to be like this maybe um of me using it in a few months you know obviously there's gonna be fallout on the mirror or whatever but i mean i haven't used this once and it's brand new so I'm really, I'm really intrigued uh, to try this palette out and see what the problem is. I do want to give you guys a few swatches. Um, I am going to swatch Crackle for you guys and um, Flame, which is this one right here. And let's see. And Latte. Okay, so first latte. Uh -huh. Probably shouldn't have done latte because latte is almost the same kind of shade as me. But there's latte. You guys can kind of see that. And then here is... Crackle. Crackle is really dark, but it has um, some glitter in there. And then I have Flame for you guys. And that is Flame. Flame is a very pretty bronze kind of color. So, as for the swatches, I mean, they look pretty promising. So, I don't have any problem with the swatches. They do look pretty promising and pretty pigmented. Um... But we're going to see how they work out on the eye, of course. And 
um, with brushes because obviously it's different with fingers than with brushes but here are the three swatches on my fingers so they're very this one is very pretty it's very um, shimmery so and I still don't know what look I'm gonna go for but I want to do something kind of like fallish something dark um, so that's kind of my plan for right now. So I'm going to start with Latte right here. And this is um, a light brown. So I'm going to use that color as my transition shade. And um, wow. Look at that guys. I dipped my brush in there a few times. And <sighs> lots and lots of fallout. So... I'm going to be careful with this because I want to keep this look kind of clean. So I'm going in my crease and I'm applying this shade all over my crease. And of course, as I do that, I want to blend the color into my crease instead of just um, patting it in my crease. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with warm this color right here and I'm gonna apply it on my outer corner and I'm also bringing this color into my crease as well okay so now I'm gonna go in with cozy this darker brownish color right here and I'm gonna bring this into my outer corner as well so I'm just kind of blending all these colors in together but this one I'm not gonna go all the way um into my crease in the inner crease I'm just gonna keep it um in my outer corner so now I'm going to go in with a different brush and I'm going to go in with Crackle with this brown shade up there. And I'm just going to go in my outer corner. And I'm being really soft um, with my hand with this color because it's, it's a super dark pigmented color. And then I'm going to take my brush again, the one I was working with, and I'm going to blend this color into my outer corner. So now I'm going to go in with some concealer and I'm going to do a half crease. So I'm going to clean this up right here. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go in with some eyeliner and eyelashes and lipstick and all that fun stuff and I'll be back. Okay guys, so now I am going to go in with Kosi, this shade right here. And I'm going to put this in my lower lash line. So by the way, if you guys are wondering, I am wearing bodysuit and Cupid from Kylie's birthday collection. And um, this is that completed look for this palette. Now for my final review and thoughts and everything about this palette. Um, I think this palette is kind of a fail for me and honestly... 
I have high expectations for Tarte since, um, you know what, I love their Blossom palette. But I did not get that same kind of quality from this palette. And I just, since I, I, since I love Tarte and I just kind of like thought that this palette would be the same as the other one. This palette didn't really work for me. Um, the shades, I feel like they are pretty simple and just basic. Um, and you could just probably like have these shades in another palette somewhere. Um, so I'd say that like if you guys are looking to purchase this palette, um, I'd say to save your money for another palette and then uh, it does have a lot of fallout as well. On the brush it did and on the pan itself like it created a lot of um, fallout and then when I tapped my brush on the uh, palette it, the fallout came out a lot so i probably say don't waste your money on this palette. Um, I don't absolutely hate it because the colors are very fallish and everything but I just feel that you might find yourself with some of these um, colors in another palette. So um, I'd say this palette just didn't really work out for me uh, especially since it had a lot of fallout and the shades don't really save it for this one. So. Um, I, I I don't really recommend this palette and it really does disappoint me and I don't I didn't want to say that in this video because I was having high hopes for this palette but um, you know it it did disappoint me a little bit so um, Tarte I hope that your next palette is much better than this one but um, that is my review on this palette Unfortunately, it was not a great review because I love Tarte. I really do. And um, that just kind of disappointed me. Um, because I love everything else that I tried from Tarte. But anyway, uh, that was my review for that palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to turn on post notifications uh, if you guys are new to my channel. So you guys don't miss my next review. Um, I'll actually be seeing you guys uh, pretty soon because it's almost Thanksgiving so expect some videos up for Thanksgiving and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to hit the like button and leave some love for me and I'll see you guys next time.